After more than 50 years of political independence and various approaches to development, agriculture remains the most important economic activity in Ghana and in the majority of African countries. In the case of Ghana, even though agriculture's contribution to GDP has declined continuously over the decades, falling to 18% in 2018, the sector continues to employ more than 30% of working persons. Agriculture remains the single largest employer and the livelihoods of many Ghanaians are directly or indirectly linked to the sector. Professor, she was level 200. They do also with just film, you know. I wish that and Kurana, Nina you be 20. A queer humano and Faso also pa. He said, Who quite the board, dear? Which are board, dear? Who the baby just saw Babaton? Banch and so, my Babaton, they see I'm one, they see I know more banch, the honor, and you ask them get to her. It is a banch, a phone, a mayeno, a moon, me, and I know, and I'm a faton, and I'm a name, ye did, 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 Agriculture is important because that is our main and traditional work here. The reason why I decided to farm yams, yam farm has a lot of help in a farmer. Because if you are a yam farmer, in your house, day in, day out, you will take yam, you will eat fufu every day until you planted everything and finish. Even if you planted and finish, you can still get yams reserved for eating. In order to arrive at a deeper understanding of the key issues facing commercial farmers in Ghana, while taking note of the changes in the global environment at large, a group of researchers from the University of Ghana have in the past six years been carefully researching four districts in four regions of Ghana. The study districts, namely Garo Tampani in the Upper East region, Gonja East in the Savannah region, Esunafo North in the Ahafo region, and Kwaibibrim in the Eastern region. The spread of districts and research participants, the long-term engagement in the field, and the research questions have given researchers a deeper and broader understanding of the state of agriculture how the sector has changed over the years, its potentials, the effects of agricultural sector policies on farmers, the challenges facing commercial farmers in general and women farmers in particular, and what measures farmers recommend for strengthening agriculture and its contribution to decent employment and to Ghana's economic development. The last 30 years, um, the state has been discouraged from certain kinds of involvement in agriculture because of the belief that the private sector would deal with these matters better than the state would. I think our experience is suggesting that the private sector has not proved very capable or in some cases interested in solving some of the most serious problems of agriculture. 
and frankly some of those issues are not the province of, of the private sector. So, so it's important to rethink how the state involves itself in agriculture to ensure that some of these persistent problems are addressed because only then can we have agriculture which is vibrant and sustainable and also addresses the problem of food insecurity. There's a need to think more innovatively about how to make credit more accessible to farmers at a lower cost. Policy has to focus on how to educate farmers to use the right type of agrochemicals uh, so as to safeguard the environment and to, to protect themselves. Farmers are concerned about uh, the jobs of their children because they invest a lot of money in children's education and they expect to see some returns. Um, from, from that investment. And so when unemployment levels are high, particularly for the youth and for graduates, it, it worries farmers also because they feel that their investments have not been worthwhile. In the 60s and 70s, there were several cooperatives in Ghana. And because of certain weaknesses that we saw in cooperatives, cooperatives were jettisoned as an important way in which farmers would come together and solve their problems. We need to take a second look at cooperatives and give them the needed support to ensure that they are robust enough and supportive enough to deal with some of the burning questions that farmers continue to face in, in agriculture. Averagely, people are increasing yields. But yields are also tied to population, and the food must reach the entire population. And because it must reach the entire population, it must move. And if it has to move, it means transportation must be cheaper to enable to make food cheaper. Where I'm coming from is basically agriculture that we think will contribute to the total emancipation of the people, total liberation of the people from endemic poverty. And this calls for one development indicator, and that is motorable roads and irrigatable dams.